I'm meteorologist John Marshall. We have a destructive storm system on the way, dubbing it the Tempest, something like we've never seen before, unprecedented and a serious weather event. I mean, folks, in all my years of meteorology, I have never seen such a setup, and neither have my colleagues, that will affect the mid-Atlantic and northeastern part of the country. This storm means business. It has the tropical energy, uh, and it will transform into a post-tropical system. And what that means is it's just going to become a wicked nor'easter around here for the next 24 to 36 hours. The reason why this storm system is so strong is there's an area, an upper level of pressure system moving in from the west with all of this moisture and energy coming up with the hurricane, colliding the two, perfect storm number two. You heard it, and it will probably be worse because of all the coastal flooding we will experience. So all in all, here we go. Let's break it down for you. We have a high wind warning in effect. Through Tuesday morning, winds could exceed 80 miles an hour along coastal areas, 70 miles an hour inland. These type of winds will bring down trees, will bring down power lines, may cause a little bit of damage, may blow out some windows and skyscrapers and buildings throughout the tri-state area. Use caution. I advise no travel for your Monday. And again, the major story is the wind, also the coastal flooding. Problem with New York Harbor, major, major concern. New York Harbor sits at a 90 degree angle. You have all this water coming up from the Atlantic, piling up day after day. And Monday, the high tide cycle will bring all of this water funneled right into a little point New York Harbor, we can expect coastal flooding that may be at record levels. Catastrophic uh, results may uh, pan out from this as we go through the next couple of days. It is a dire situation. I hope everybody has uh, heeded the warnings over the next, uh, the past 24 hours and over the next 24 hours as well. So the coastal flood warning is in effect. We can see a storm surge in and around Raritan Bay. New York Harbor and Western Long Island Sound, there's that funnel and channeling effect of seven to 12 feet. That would be record level storm surge. Elsewhere, five to 10 feet. Breaking down the timeline, here we go of this thing. Uh, the, the brunt of the storm comes between noon on Monday to Tuesday morning. Monday morning conditions will deteriorate rapidly hour by hour through the mid and late morning hours. Winds will up to 60 miles an hour. Widespread power outages down trees, we talked about the record storm surge, major coastal flooding, inundation, damage to structures, a possibility, and three to eight inches of rain with street, highway, stream, and river flooding, and obviously basement flooding for some folks, a major possibility. Again, a major storm system, something meteorologists have not seen, and I just uh, really hope everybody takes this seriously. And the situation is calling for a lot of rain and a lot of wind with this storm system. And again, um, I just wish everybody to be safe and just hunker down. We will get through this. Meteorologist John Marshall here. This may be my last webcast for this storm due to the fact that, who knows, I may lose power as well. www.johnmarshallweather.com.